All right, so I'm here at T Street in San Clemente. Gonna go surfing for the first time in like two years. So uh, let's let's see how it goes. I thought you were gonna walk towards oh, the water. I was, but I was gonna give you a kiss first. <laughs> Do it again. All right, so we're here at T Street in San Clemente. It's approximately 5.20 a.m. and I'm gonna go surfing for the first time in about two years. So, let's see how this goes. Pick up your trash. Oh man, after shoulder day, Good little active recovery day. I caught the very first wave, and after that, nothing. It just kept getting crushed. But it was good to get back out. It's a good workout, great way to start the morning, and uh, I'm definitely getting a surfboard. I gotta practice. All right, now let's get some donuts. All right, we're here in Surf and Donuts in San Clemente, and the captain's gonna have some donuts. Here we go. These are not healthy donuts. Full, like regular donuts. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I feel like I want to eat these donuts. Let's see them. So we got the apple fritter, which is one of my go-tos. This is actually the last time that I had donuts, probably about two years ago here. And I got the apple fritter. I, I got like three donuts and I felt like shit after. But. Good thing we're going to do hill sprints right after. It was good. Yeah, surfing, hill sprints. Definitely feel okay about eating these donuts. And then I also got donut holes, which are like my number one favorite. Mm. I love me some glazed holes. Right, babe? Right. <laughs> Go! Cross after this. Go! Morning, brother. Some stuff. Oh, thousand steps. It's not actually a thousand steps, but it'll feel like it. Get it. What's your plan? So I brought the weighted vest. Oh, so we could do our vest. Okay. We could like switch off. Like walk Alright, I'm ready to go. Good stuff, good leg workout, good for the knees, good for stability, slow and controlled. All right, we're three sets in. <sighs> feeling good, legs are feeling jello-y. All right, you guys ready? Last one. How much do you weigh, Josh? Like 135. Yeah. Oh. Plus the best? But the vest is like 40. A little bit. I've got like 60 pounds on Josh. Alright guys, give it your all. Let's 20 go. 20 pounds now with the vest. Sideways. Oh yeah! All right, we just finished some hill sprints, a little stair workout. Now we're gonna get an ice bath. Oh yeah. 
You got some nice chunks in here. Woo! It's gonna be an iceberg bath. You ready? Yeah. Josh is always ready. It's a seatbelt. Yeah, look at this teamwork. It's your seatbelt. There we go. <laughs> it's your stuffed animal. You can cuddle with it. Is that your weapon of choice? Yeah. Oh, where's my battle axe? Give it to Josh, you guys can battle it out. Yeah, you want to battle, Josh? Here's my battle axe. <laughs> you guys are ever cold in the iceberg bath? Just cuddle up with one of the icebergs. Mm. Keep you nice and warm. What a great start to the day. Early morning surfing, hill sprints, donuts, no ice bath. This is health, this is freedom, this is the captain's lifestyle. Whew. What a great start to the morning. And now I am getting ready to be interviewed on the Mike C podcast. Hopefully he's a good interviewer because I've been on some podcasts that aren't great. They ask just generic questions. They clearly haven't done their research. So uh, fingers crossed, Mike C. Let's see. All right. And to keep my mind sharp for this podcast, having a knickknack, all natural nicotine mints. I use their uh, six milligram to really get that acetylcholine and dopamine and epinephrine boosted. So increases focus, alertness, attention. You guys can use code Captain Morgan to get the hookups on knickknacks. I use them before podcasts, clearly before focus work blocks. They're way better than those artificial Zin pouches that contain artificial sweeteners. Who knows what the pouches are made of and definitely way better than any smoking or vaping. If you guys haven't seen my video that I did on the benefits of nicotine and how to use it effectively, I will link that here. Check it out. I, I think why we're so lost is that we don't know who we are. We're just on autopilot. We don't ask ourselves these deep questions. And a lot of it's due to fear because if you recognize that you are not fulfilled with where you're at, that means that you need, need to make some big changes. And that is, it can be terrifying realizing that my entire life as I know it right now, I'm not satisfied with. Like, I'm clearly not living up to my potential, but I, I don't know what's next. So many people find themselves in this, in this spot. And I was, I was certainly there in the Marine Corps and then in Saudi Arabia. I was like, I, I know this is not what I want. So what is it that I do want? And who am I? Like I said, that, that can be scary. It's like looking out at sea and you're on this island not happy on the island and you want to go somewhere else but you look out and it's just open ocean and that's scary like to just set sail and like okay well let's see what happens so that's that's what the program does is it's like this this bridge or this guide to take you from where you are now to where you want to be all right well the podcast went well but unfortunately something happened in riverside and he wasn't able to hop back on and record so um uh, we're gonna reconnect next week and film the outro of it. But yeah, it was a great episode. Now I'm gonna make some food and that'll be it for this video. Also just hit 200,000 followers on Instagram. So thank you guys, I appreciate your support. And uh, yeah, it's wild, it's wild, the growth. I remember, dang motorcycles and loud exhaust. Um, yeah, it's wild. I, uh, this is what I always wanted. I wanted the influence. At first, I wanted it 
for selfish reasons. It's like, I wanted the attention. Now I could really care less about the attention that I get. It really doesn't matter to me at all. What I care about is the impact that I have on your lives, the value that you get from my content. So if you guys are getting value from my content, which I hope you are if you're watching this YouTube video right now, please leave in the comments what value you have gotten, what impact my content has had on you, what changes you have implemented, and also what you want to see more of in my content. That will help me better able, be better able to serve you guys. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Gonna make some food. Appreciate you guys watching, sending you love and light. And remember, together, when we live by the captain's code, we will make thriving standard. Peace and love, y'all. And because I know you guys are gonna ask me what I made to eat, I made two breakfast burritos with cassava flour wraps. Shout out to Siete for making uh, some great products. Gluten-free tortillas, seed oil-free chips, uh, delicious cookies, they got some great stuff. Check them out, Siete. Uh, so in here we've got some pasteurized eggs, an organic avocado, some truffle hot sauce, and uh, of course some ketchup. Mmm, delicious. And with this view, can't get any better. Live the captain's lifestyle.